Hello everyone. Hope you are doing great today. In this tutorial, we'll learn together how to add and edit image gallery in Elementor and WordPress using WP Media Folder plugin gallery feature. What I really like with this plugin is that it has a real integration with Elementor, a real widget with some configuration, themes are pretty cool too, but we'll see that in a minute. So, we'll learn how to create galleries, apply and configure themes with the widget, insert them into your Elementor page and many other things. Let's dig into it with our Elementor specialist. In the first sequence we'll learn how to create a gallery with WordPress media and also with local media. First thing to know is that the gallery management is located in the WordPress admin menu called Media Folder Galleries under Media. It's also possible to manage galleries from the Elementor widget, but we'll see that in the next sequence of this video. Let's start a gallery from scratch. I'm clicking on the Add New Gallery button in my top left screen, then Create New Gallery. OK, let's add a title here and I'll keep the default theme for now. That's just a start, just an empty gallery. Now I'll use some of my images from the WordPress Media Library to finish my gallery. Let's select images in this folder and create a gallery. There are folders because the plugin WP Media Folder add many features to the WordPress Media Library including Media Folder Management. I can also create a gallery from a media folder if you've prepared your media earlier or uploaded some folders directly. Nice, the gallery is already created, of course I can add some local images to the gallery also here. Now that my gallery is done, we can jump to the next sequence and check the gallery settings. OK, now let's focus on the gallery settings, I'll just click on the second tab on top of the gallery. Actually, there are 8 themes available and some of them come with variation like the default one called Masonry. The Masonry theme is a photo wall we use to see on various social media, Google Photo, and so on. Well, I can click on the Preview tab also, so you can see how it looks like. There are many settings in each gallery theme and the majority of them can also be configured directly from Elementor, we'll see that in the next sequence. For example, here, I'll change image alignment and the height size to be a bit bigger and let's see what it will look like. Now let's open a page and see the other themes and settings available in the WP Media Folder Gallery plugin but from Elementor this time. I'm searching for the Gallery Elementor block to add to my page. Now I need to select a gallery to have my images shown. I'm now ready to show you a preview of the themes. Here's the default theme that squared in a line image with hover effect. The second one is the masonry we've just checked earlier, so let's switch to the third one called portfolio. It looks like the first, but there's variation the front end and configuration is a bit different. The fourth one is the slider theme, as you can see. It's a multi-column slider and I can change the column number from the settings, let's make it with bigger images with two columns. The fifth is the flow slide theme, basically that's a slider with a great 3D transition effect. The square grid is, as his name stated, a squared style photo list, let's set up five columns to see how it looks like. Okay, that's an alternative to the masonry theme we've seen earlier. The material theme now, it's a reference of the image display style and the material design styling. Looks good too. Finally, here's the custom grid theme. This is the theme where you can customize each photo size individually in each gallery. Just a quick preview about this theme on the gallery view. See, you can move the handles to resize one or several images from the gallery. Now let's jump into the next sequence with the details of the Elementor widget settings. 
The first thing to note in the Elementor settings is the two first settings called Gallery Navigation that activates a side navigation between galleries. I don't have many gallery levels configured here, so let me show you what it would look like on the demo page. I can navigate through many gallery levels with many photos, and the display is quite fast. The other setting is the image tag filtering. You can add tags on your images or keywords if you will, and then activate a filter like here. That's pretty handy for a huge gallery with various styles in it. Next you have the theme selection and eventually the layout. After that, there's the gallery selection with a gallery level preview if you open the drop down control here. Then you have the image size for the default state and for the light box. To preserve a fast performance, it's better to select an image size that is close to the display size. For example, if I have a display maximum width of 500 pixels because I have many columns, I can stick to the medium large size with noticing any quality changes. Finally, you have the action on click, here I'll stick to the light box to display a larger image on click. And also ordering options. Note that all the Elementor widgets are also configurable like borders, margins, effects and all the settings you have in other Elementor widgets. Now I would like to show you a very special plugin feature. As you know the plugin we're showing is called WP Media Folder and this is the gallery add-in. Now let's go back to the WordPress Media Library. As you can see on the left side and main screen, we have some media folder and subfolders or organize our media. I can navigate through them and of course upload images and videos. Now how about using them to create galleries in 10 seconds? This is what I'm going to show you and also how to automatically update the gallery content according to the images located in a folder. Let's go for that. I'm going back to the media folder galleries menu, click on add new gallery button. I have the choice to select quick gallery from folder action. Let's say I want a landscape gallery, so I'm selecting this folder. Also I know there are images in this one. And, boom! I have my gallery created with all the folder images in it. Finally, there's this amazing feature called Auto Add Image in Folder that will update the gallery automatically when you add a new photo in a folder. Also, when you hover the images with your mouse, there's an icon identifying that's that's automatic images from a folder. Now let's add our galleries into the WordPress content and see how it's look like from front end. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any question using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful link we've talked about in the description. Have a nice day, bye.